Welcome to our in-depth conversation on an essential subject matter, the seven indicators of manipulation within a relationship. We'll start with gaslighting, a manipulative technique that intentionally distorts your reality, causing self-doubt. It's like someone insisting that the sunny day you see is actually rainy, or your partner denying statements they've clearly made implying it's your imagination. This is gaslighting. It's harmful and erodes your confidence over time making you question your own experiences. It's a sign of toxicity, and is often subtle, going unnoticed until it's too late. Feelings of confusion, self-doubt and constant anxiety can indicate gaslighting. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards addressing this form of manipulation. The second sign that we're investigating is love bombing. This term, seemingly a glorious expression of affection, can be quite damaging. It's characterized by excessive affection and attention, to the point where it could feel like you're the lead in a romantic film. Visualize it this way. You're in the spotlight of love, showered with compliments, gestures, and intense communication. Suddenly the curtain drops. As rapidly as they bestowed their affection, they withdraw it, leaving you alone in the dark auditorium, yearning for the light again. That's the manipulation they strive for. Love bombing is a manipulative act where your partner overwhelms you with loving words and actions. The abrupt shift from extreme affection to sudden indifference is this tactic's distinguishing trait. The key to identifying it lies in the severe change in their behavior, from flooding you with love to abruptly becoming distant. Identifying love. Bombing in a relationship may not be easy as it is often disguised as intense love and care. However, the key to spotting it lies in the drastic shift in their behavior, from showering you with love to abruptly becoming distant and indifferent. Our third sign is passive-aggressive behavior. This cunning hostility is when your partner's negativity is indirect, often masked by false positivity. Picture this scenario. You're handed your overcooked favorite dish and told it's a mistake. Yet the repetition of such mistakes starts hinting at deliberate actions. Or perhaps your partner frequently shows up late for shared plans always armed with an excuse. However their habitual lateness suggests a pattern. A more elusive form could be backhanded compliments. They may praise your dress style but add remarks that shake your confidence. A comment like, the dress looks good I just didn't think you'd pull it off, leaves you feeling praised and insulted simultaneously. Identifying this behavior is challenging, often hidden in nuances. You may start doubting your perceptions, but if you regularly feel undermined or puzzled by your partner's actions, you might be experiencing passive-aggressive behavior. Fourth in our catalog is insults and humiliation. This concept is often veiled under the guise of, just for fun. It can take various forms in a relationship, sometimes being subtle, sometimes direct. It could be as obvious as your partner deriding your aspirations or revealing your insecurities publicly. Or it may be as discreet as sarcastic critiques that undermine your accomplishments, or repetitive negativity that slowly chips away at your self-worth. For example, consider Emily, who consistently derides John's cooking attempts, saying, even a five-year-old could do better. Or Lily, who under the pretense of humor, often criticizes Peter's career choices in public, causing him to feel belittled. Such instances, supposedly just for fun, are red flags signaling insults and humiliation. Spotting these signs is a crucial step in recognizing and addressing the issue. The fifth sign to look out for is blaming. It's an intricate one to grasp. Blaming usually involves a person attributing any mishap to another individual, often unfairly. In relationships, if something goes wrong, your partner may hold you responsible, even if it's not your fault. For instance, you forgot to water the plants one day, and the next morning, the car won't start. Despite the two events being unrelated, a blaming partner would associate your forgetfulness with the car's issue. Compelling logic, right? Blaming involves twisted logic, and it's easy to spot once aware. If you're constantly held accountable for things you can't control, or your partner blames you while evading responsibility for their actions, you might be dealing with a blamer. This behavior could indicate an unhealthy pattern in your relationship, one that needs attention and correction. The sixth sign to look out for is manipulative humor. This is a type of humor used to subtly belittle or demean you, masked as harmless jesting. Picture a social gathering where your partner pokes fun at your abilities or preferences. It seems like harmless banter, until you realize it was a disguised insult. It's an insidious way of making disparaging remarks without being confrontational. Spotting manipulative humor can be challenging, as it's often disguised as lighthearted jesting. However, pay heed to the content of the jokes and your feelings. 
If the humor consistently targets your insecurities or failures and leaves you feeling humiliated, it's likely manipulative. Remember, in a healthy relationship, humor is used to bring individuals closer, never to belittle or demean one another. Our concluding indication is the creation of a power imbalance. It surfaces when one party persistently makes the other feel inferior. This imbalance can be evident in multiple ways, such as when a partner consistently belittles the other's accomplishments, insists on making major decisions unilaterally, or controls the financial resources, leaving the other financially reliant. Power imbalances often occur under the guise of love or care, making them difficult to identify. However, if you consistently feel at a disadvantage or your opinions are regularly dismissed, these could be signs of a power imbalance. This imbalance isn't about who's at fault but about the power dynamics in the relationship. Recognizing these dynamics is the first crucial step towards addressing the imbalance and reclaiming one's power in a relationship. So, there you have it. The seven signs of manipulation in a relationship. These seven signs are subtle and often go unnoticed, making them dangerous and potentially harmful. These signs may include but are not limited to gaslighting, belittling, controlling behaviors, isolation from friends and family, constant criticism, love bombing, and guilting. Gaslighting is an insidious form of manipulation that makes you doubt your own memories and perceptions. Belittling, another form of manipulation, can erode your self-esteem over time. A partner who constantly controls your actions, dictating what you can or can't do, exhibits manipulation. Isolation from friends and family is another tactic, often used to gain complete control over the victim. Constant criticism can lead to feelings of worthlessness, making it easier for the abuser to exert control. Love bombing, which means showering the victim with affection to win them over, is a common manipulation tactic. Lastly, guilting someone into doing what they don't want to do is manipulation. Learning to recognize these signs is the first step towards safeguarding yourself from manipulation. It's essential to build up your self-defense mechanisms against such harmful behaviors. Remember it's perfectly okay to establish boundaries and assert your rights. Listen to your gut feelings, and don't let anyone make you feel insignificant. Understanding these signs and how to handle them will not only protect you, but also empower you to take control of your life. And always bear in mind that the power resides within you.